Hello everyone, welcome to my channel electrical and computer engineering project and if you have not subscribed to my channel you can click on this subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. You can also visit my blog from the link above and you can follow me on twitter and you can send me message if you need anything. And don't forget to like, comment and share my videos. Thank you. Hello everyone, so last day I have shown you that I was having some problem with the bootstrap. My bootstrap is not working in any of the pages right now so if you have the same problem then here is the solution for that and you, you need to go to both of the folders and there you need to go to your navbar page and here we have used these links for our bootstrap so if your bootstrap is not working you just need to remove these links and we will add another link here and first for that we need to have this folder copied and I will give this folder in the description you need to download it and then copy this inside this admin folder and inside the student folder and then when you have done this adding here you can see some files inside that folder you just need to copy this folder there and then add a link inside your navigation page and here we will add the link and give the link inside this we will write bootstrap and then a backslash and then css then another slash and then bootstrap dot mean dot css this is another way for using bootstrap you just need to write it like this and then have that folder inside your admin side and student side both the side so that they can use the bootstrap class and if your links are working properly then you don't need to do this if your link doesn't work then you just need to change these links and now if we go back to our bootstrap books page you can see that every bootstrap class are working properly now you just need to do the exactly same thing for your student side too now we will start working on our login page again here if someone forget the password they can update the password and for this we need to go back to our admin login page and here we have added navigation page or navbar.php page and inside that page we have already added our bootstrap link so as we have added this page inside the login page so we don't need to add the bootstrap link inside our login page or any other page where the navigation page is added so we will delete this and let's go to the lower position of this page here we have added the color yellow for the links you can make it white or any other color you want to see your links and now we will add a new page for this link whenever someone click this link they will direct it to a page where they can update their password or change their password so for that we will need to add a link for this anchor tag here we will add a new page update underscore password dot php now we need to create a page with that name so let's open a new page and then save it inside the admin side and you need to do exactly the same for your student side too now we just need to save this page and here if we now click on this link you will see that we will be directed to our update password.php page and now we will start writing our code here and we will include our connection.php page and our navigation page inside the php tag ok now if you refresh you can see our navigation is here and now let's add the title of this page change password
and after this we will add style tag and inside this we will style our body tag first and then we will add white then we will add a height and a background color to see the change let's add red so that we can see it properly and now refresh the page and we can see that the navigation bar actually came a bit inside that page so let's change the white a bit okay it's actually not working the way we want it so let's remove the white proper um, fully so that it works for 100 percent white and the height is fixed okay now it is all right so we will add a background image here We need to write URL and inside the parenthesis we will write the direction of our image. For that we just need to have the image inside our folder. Now let's say we will give this image as background so we will go to our library folder and inside that in the admin inside that images folder and here we will paste that image. And you need to do this for your student side too so let's just paste it here now okay now that we have done this now we can write the direction inside this code so we will write images first the folder name and then a slash and then the image name 7.jpg and it will be inside double quotation so now if you refresh it you can see the background image here now inside this we will start a div and we will give it a class name called wrapper and then we will style this class wrapper inside our style tag dot wrapper and then inside second bracket we will write a white let's say 400 pixel then give it a height we will make it a square so we will give 400 again and now a background color to see the change and we will also add a margin so the box will be in the middle position of our page that will be zero and auto and then a background color now let's save this page and refresh this okay now you can see that box inside this we will create our form so let's change the margin a bit okay we will take it in the middle position again so we will give 100 pixel and auto as margin so that okay now it is all right now we will just change the background color to black and then okay now we can just change the opacity to make it transparent Okay, 
we need to give 0.8 Now it is all right. So let's start making our form inside this box. And before that, we will write something in head h1 tag, so we can see it clearly. Let's just copy this from our login page, and we will use the exact same font size and same font family. You can change it too if you don't like this font. And now. We will take it inside another div and add the styling if we want to add some other styling for this. Okay, this is already in the middle position, but we just need to change the color. We can change the color of the wrapper box because everything inside that box will have the text as white color so now if we refresh this we can see the word clearly now let's add a padding okay now everything is all right we have added the padding and it's in the middle position too so now we can add another heading here and we just need to change the font size and we will change the text here Let's make it 20 and now if you refresh this this will look like this and if you want to write this like the first h1 tag so we can just change the writing and delete the second one let's see how this looks Okay, now uh, we will just keep this styling and now after this we will start our form okay we just write it uh, created this form inside the div we will create it after the div so the we can just change the styling of the form if we want to and the heading remains the same so for this we will just create the form after this first div and this form will also be inside that wrapper box so here for inside the form tag we need to write action and then let's keep it blank then method post and then inside the form we will start writing our input then press tab and you can write the type as text and give the name the first one will be our username so let's write our username okay you need to write the name exactly like our column name so we'll write it in small letter and after this we will write placeholder and some other class name and other features here the class will be form control this is our bootstrap class so we don't need to style it after this let's add the placeholder whatever we want to see inside that input box we will use username inside the placeholder and then this will be required field so anybody need to fill this form properly or they cannot update their password here another input will be again text type and this will be email okay we need to give it small letter as our column name was in small letter and then class name again it will be form control so we can just copy this and paste it and after this we will add placeholder this will be 
email you can write it in any font uh, any way capital letter or small letter then required and again we will create another input and this will be for the new password so type will be text this time we are not using the type password because we want them to see whatever the password they are giving as input and after this new then name and then class form control again and then placeholder inside this placeholder we will give new password and after this required so if someone fill this three field then they can just change the password or else they cannot so after this we will add a button for update their password and here we will add our bootstrap class button and button default now if you refresh this you can see everything is all right we just need to add some breaks between them so after each input we will add a break now after this we will just see how it looks okay now we can just change the width of the form input so that they are according to the size we want them to so for that we need to change the styling of this class we will go to our style tag inside this we will write dot and then form control then inside second bracket we will add a width and the width let's say 150 okay now refresh this okay we need to add some more let's make it 300 And now save this and refresh the page okay now we just need to take it in the middle position let's add some padding here for the form so for styling this we need to add another div before the form because we want to move the font form only and other things will remain in its position so for this we will change the styling padding left will be 50 now let's see how it looks okay we need to give it less let's add 30 and save this and see okay now this is all right we can just keep it like that and next i will show you how to add the php code